Oh, hey, babe. Thanks for picking me up. My arms are killing me. No props, PB. Gee, you're looking more ripped than usual. I sure am. Must be the paint stripper. What? Oh, uh, nothing, babe. Uh, babe, what happened to our roof rack? Um, I sold it to buy a pregnancy test. That's great news, babe. Who's the father? It's between you... Myself, that guy, or the son? Oh right, wait, what? The son? Wowie zowie, was that a crazy dream. I'm oh, never drinking 4X ever, ever, ever again. Um, here I am just for noodling the bonnet because it wouldn't quite fit. I used a black base coat which wasn't terribly bright because I wanted to paint it red and as you all know or may not know spraying red over the top of black is a real pain in the ring but um, I persevered with it but it did lead me to decide to give it a weathered finish so we're doing another weathered model I'm not going to jibber too much over this one viewers I'm just going to let the video speak for itself I might drop in with some special effects if you're really lucky but anyway there's coat number 5322 of the red Talk to you soon. Now here comes the jibber. As you can see, this is a really basic, what they call a promo style model uh, from the golden age, they'd like to call it, of model kits. Uh, very simple metal rod through the engine, uh, very basic, very easy to put together and have a lot of fun building it, um, except this part where the engine needed to be modified so it would glue down properly but I worked it out. So I've got a heap of overspray on the tops of the guards because I didn't mask it off properly, but you know, I'm going to weather it, so I'm not particularly bothered. That's, a bit, that's my favourite thing about doing weathering is like, as HBI guy says, the happy accidents um, make it work anyway, and it's infinitely less stressful. Check this decal sheet out. All decals for the surfboards, heaps of little surfy stickers for the windows, it's great. However, these dash gauge decals, I don't know what I did wrong, or I'm sure it's my fault because all the other decals are brilliant, like and went on great. But for some reason the dashboard decals um, cracked, they broke, um, I don't know if it's because I tried putting too much I don't even try putting Microsoft on them, they just did not want to play the game and they broke apart and I just gave up and coloured them in by hand. But the only weak link in the chain.
So I'm using floor polish on the, just on the seats and anywhere I think there's vinyl, just to give it a little bit of a, I find it gives it a shiny sort of vinyl-y look. So I used it on my Smokey and the Band of Trans Am and it, it worked great. Uh, so it's, it's a cheap and effective way to give you a, a basic effect. super glue here because the wheels um, were a little bit loose in the tyres and they didn't, they were a little bit wide too so might have just been my kit uh, but the white wall tyres, smicko, they look great with the Kragars, I really like them. I also sprayed um, some dull coat on them so they weren't quite as shiny and then a bit of black wash in the centres, I think they look great. based uh, black paint. Thank you Alicia, my friend who gave me this tip years ago. I've got to give her a shout out every time I use it. Um, the more you rub it, the more sort of browner and you know look greasy, dusty it looks. So I always put a little bit on first before I do my other weathering. I'm assuming it's because I painted the boards for the roof racks they're a really tight fit into the little brackets on the side like I had to pull them apart a couple of times and file them back down and I'll retouch them after I've got them in situ uh, but yeah really tight fit <laughs> I'm lazy and to spend thrift I just use I got this giant three inch or <laughs> um, black iron lac pen for coloring in roof linings I'm not you know not bothering too much about it because I want it to look a bit beaten up anyway canopy glue to hold the glass in so it doesn't craze it as usual stick the bonnet on party time so just standard cheap black acrylic paint just slap it in there and if you get to it before it dries, you can rub it off all the high points with a Q-tip or an earbud or your implement of choice. And it looks pretty cool. I got that, and I learnt that from HBI Guy again. That's two shout-outs. I just, he really is a great model builder. Like, you should go check out his channel. Okay, it wouldn't be a PB build if I didn't stuff something up. I glued the base to the body. Which of course means I now can't put the grill on because you're supposed to put the grill on and the base goes through it and into the body. So I just cut the back of the clips off and I super glued it on there. Uh, what an idiot I am sometimes.
So touching up the roof racks like I promised and now I'm going to do some rust on the side. Just painting a little bit of clear coat on and then getting my um, actual genuine metal rust that I made from Brillo pads or Steelo pads, whatever you want to call them, and tapping it on there. Not going completely beaten up. Uh, just a little bit of weathering, like it's been at the beach. Then, yes, it's the splash mud I shouldn't use in my airbrush because it clogs the buggery out of it. Um, but you know, I can't help myself. I'm my own worst enemy. Just a light dust, not going too crazy. So I thought I'd try and be a bit clever and do some rope to tie the surfboards on rather than just sticking them on top because that looks stupid. And I know this rope isn't really quite to scale, but um. Loved real surf cruiser, got the boards tied on, a bit of rag between them so they don't get ruined. Uh, the rust's starting to poke through but it's not too bad yet. I'm really pleased with the result. You can see they've tied one of the ropes right around the B pillar, right around both the door jams so when they're in an accident and they come to get rescued and cut out, they can't escape the vehicle quickly. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing people do, I suppose, don't they? Without thinking. It's probably the sort of thing I'd do. Anyway. It was too big to fit in my little photo booth, so here it is on my bench. I hope you like it. So thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and watch my video, I really appreciate it. Make sure you go and check out all the other builders in KC's Invitational. I'll try and put a link somewhere so you can find that easy. I'm sure there's going to be some brilliant builds. Thanks for watching my video. If you like what you've seen here, check out some of my other builds. If you'd like to subscribe, why not click on my bald head there and be swept away to a world of PB magic every Friday at 9.15. I will see you next time. Have fun, have a safe weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye!